In this video, let us discuss about k-means clustering. Assume that we have a set of data that can be plotted on one dimension. That means the data is plotted on a line. Assume that we want to group the data points into three different clusters. Start with the row data. Select the number of clusters you want to identify in your data. That is the k in k-means clustering. In our example, we have selected k as 3. That means we want to identify three clusters. Step 2 is randomly select three data points. This red, green, and blue dot represents the initial cluster. Next step is to measure the distance between the first point and the three initial clusters. Distance from the red cluster, distance from the green cluster, distance from the blue cluster. Assign the data to the nearest cluster. Here the nearest cluster is red. So assign that point to red cluster. Take the next data point. Measure the distance. Assign to the nearest cluster. Here again the nearest cluster is red. Assign to red cluster. Repeat this process till all the data points are assigned to some cluster. After the first round, we will get three clusters. Now compute the mean of each cluster. Measure the distance of the data points from the mean and assign the data points to the nearest cluster. You will get the new list of clusters. Repeat this procedure till the cluster membership won't change. The algorithm that we have used in this example is known as k-means clustering where k denotes the number of clustering. K-means clustering is an unsupervised iterative clustering technique. It partitions the given data set into K predefined distinct clusters. Let us discuss the steps in the algorithm. Given K, choose K random data points or seeds to be the initial centroids or cluster center. Assign each data point to the closest center. Recompute the centroid using the current cluster memberships. If a convergence criterion is not met, Repeat steps 2 and 3. K-means convergence or stopping criterion can be no or minimum reassignments of data points to different clusters or no or minimum change of centroids or minimum decrease in the sum of the squared error. Sum of the squared error means the sum of the square of the distance between the data point and the centroid of the cluster. How to measure the distance between the two points on a two-dimensional plane? Assume that you have got two points x1 y1 and x2 y2. There are different methods for computing the distance between two points. One important measurement is known as Euclidean distance. The formula for computing Euclidean distance is square root of x1 minus x2 the whole square plus y1 minus y2 the whole square. Another measurement is Manhattan distance or city block distance. The formula for computing Manhattan distance is absolute value of x1 minus x2 plus absolute value of y1 minus y2. Let us now discuss an example. Consider the points a1, 2, 10, a2, 2, 5, a3, 8, 4, a4, 5, 8, a5, 7, 5, a6, 6, 4, A7, 1, 2, A8, 4, 9 using k-means algorithm and Euclidean distance. Assume that the initial seeds or the cluster centroid are A1, A4 and A7. Perform the first iteration. A1, A4 and A7 has been chosen as the cluster centroid. Compute the distance between each point and the cluster centroid using Euclidean distance. Distance from A1 to A1 is 0. Distance from A1 to A4 is square root of 2 minus 5 square plus 10 minus 8 square. It is square root of 13. Distance from A1 to A7 is square root of 2 minus 1 the whole square plus 10 minus 2 the whole square. It is equal to 65. Distance from A2 to A1 is square root of 2 minus 2 square plus 5 minus 10 square. It is equal to square root of 25. Similarly, we compute the distance between all the points and three cluster centroids. Now, let us assign each point to the nearest cluster centroid. Take A1. The shortest distance is 0. So, assign A1 to cluster 1. Take A2. The shortest distance is square root of 10. Assign A2 to cluster 3. Next is A3. The shortest distance is square root of 25. Assign A3 to cluster 2. Similarly, check the shortest distance and assign the remaining points. Assign A4 to cluster 2. A5 to cluster 2. A6 to cluster 2. A7 to cluster 3. A8 to cluster 2. After the first round of iteration, A1 is in cluster 1, A3, A4, A5, A6 and A8 will be in cluster 2. A2 and A7 will be in cluster 3. Based on the current cluster membership, recalculate the cluster centroid. 
take the mean of x values and y values of the cluster members since cluster 1 has only a1 2 comma 10 will be the cluster centroid centroid of cluster 2 is 8 plus 5 plus 7 plus 6 plus 4 by 5 that is the mean of the x values of cluster 2 members and 4 plus 8 plus 5 plus 4 plus 9 by 5 that is the mean of the y values of the cluster 2 members centroid of cluster 2 will be 6 comma 6 centroid of cluster 3 will be 2 plus 1 by 2 comma 5 plus 2 by 2 is equal to 1.5 comma 3.5 perform the next iteration compute the distance of each point from the new cluster centroid here is the distance from 2 comma 10 distance from 6 comma 6 distance from 1.5 comma 3.5 Assign points to nearest cluster A1 to C1, A2 to C3, A3 to C2, A4 to C2, A5 to C2, A6 to C2, A7 to C3 and A8 to C1. After second round of iteration A1 and A8 is in cluster 1, A3, A4, A5 and A6 will be in cluster 2, A2 and A7 will be in cluster 3. Recompute the cluster centroid as we have computed earlier. Now C1 is 3. 9.5 c2 is 6.5 5.25 c3 is 1.5 3.5 now perform the third iteration calculate the distance between each point to the new cluster centroid distance to 3 comma 9.5 distance from 6.5 to 5.25 distance from 1.5 to 3.5 assign data points to the nearest cluster a1 to c1 a2 to c3 a3 to c2 a4 to c1 a5 to c2 a6 to c2 a7 to c3 and a8 to c1 after third iteration a1 a4 a8 will be in cluster 1 a3 a5 and a6 will be in cluster 2 a2 and a7 will be in cluster 3 recompute the cluster centroid as we have computed earlier then c1 will be 3.66,9 c2 is 7,4.33 c3 is 1.5,3.5 perform the next iteration Compute the distance from the new cluster center. Distance from 3.66,9. Distance from 7.7,4.33. Distance from 1.5,3.5. Assign points to the nearest cluster. A1 to C1. A2 to C3. A3 to C2. A4 to C1. A5 to C2. A6 to C2. A7 to C3. A8 to C1. After fourth iteration, there is no change in cluster membership. That means the cluster converges after third iteration. Hence, we can stop the clustering process and here is a final cluster and cluster centroid this is how we perform the k-means clustering